Morning guys. It's about 8 a.m. here on uh, Friday. And got a couple of things I want to show you guys today. It might be a short video, it might not, depending on the weather. It's about 30 degrees, 32 degrees, and kind of a rain slush mix going on this morning. So I've been doing a little bit of uh, a little bit more of garage organizing. We got the whole side of the garage here kind of cleaned up and around to the back area. And then this side of the garage looks about a million times better. I got the welders over there and whatnot. But anyhow, aside from that, let's uh, let's get started with an unboxing. Let's see what packages we got this week. open one of them on accident and it's uh, some more t-bolt clamps these are 99 cents on eBay uh, I think they're all 99 cents or maybe they're a little bit more expensive depending on the size but these ones were 99 cents so got those gonna set those aside Silent Bob. He um, participates on Heli Cool Helipads channel. I'll try to get a link to the video describing this item or his channel in the, in the upper right. Yeah, upper right hand corner of the screen here. So I'll try to get that link up. No promises though, I'm still trying to figure that whole system out, but let's get this opened up. Got a note. It says Sean, I enjoy watching you take leftover parts from Kane, your trailer, and to put on Able. It's actually my shelter. <laughs> uh, the trailer was actually complete when I got it, but yes. I see you can build what you need on the fly, so I included this Russian-inspired clamp tool. Put it in your emergency kit for when you're out of town and in the wild. P.S. It holds bundles of firewood together as well. Your buddy Silent Bob for installation instructions um, on YouTube and he gave his YouTube link which I said uh, I'll post here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Oh boy he included everything. So this is a tool that he actually made comes with a measuring wire and I watched his video already and it's uh, pretty good. Some uh, fence wire and then he has a little um, illustration here of how the actual tool works and how well it holds things. So thanks a lot Bob, I appreciate it. I will definitely throw this in my uh, emergency toolkit for uh, some of the upcoming adventures of Able that we go on. Let's set this aside go to the next one. So this one will kind of go with the clamps I just showed you guys. You can probably already figure out what it is. So if you remember, uh, one of the last videos I mentioned how I pieced together some couplings from some of the hoses that I had. Well, these are some nice, looks like five layer silicone couplings. These are only four bucks a piece on Amazon, or um, I'm sorry, on eBay. Uh, yes, they come from China, which manufactures these by the tons. So I may or may not replace these today, today depending on the weather. I don't know how wet and cold I want to get. So um, I would like to get those replaced because one of them's a little short. It just looks weird. And we'll be able to use the new clamps with these. So got that. 
finding some good deals on eBay lately, so I've been buying things when they pop up. I think I know what this one is. This is a gamble. I know exactly what this is. This was a gamble. It was a $25 ship gamble. Don't know if it's going to work. Not 100% certain. But basically what this is, let me give you guys the part number here. Hopefully you can see this. So I believe this is off an MRAP, as most of the parts I get are. But this is a uh, water fuel separator. And uh, the part I'm concerned about, and I'm hoping that it takes it may or may not fit, is this bottom section. Now, this bottom section has a fuel heater on it. I don't think I'm going to use the fuel heater because I've heard horror stories about it. Or I may use it because this one looks newer. Um, but I I'm hoping that this bottom section unscrews and fits on the one on the LMTV that I have. I'm hoping that's how it works. I won't be able to use this section because remember in the mechanical injection LMTVs, the 3116s, there's a primer on here that you've got to pump to get the uh, mechanical uh, injection pump or the mechanical pulling pump going. And I don't think that's on the newer ones, but I could be wrong. So anyways, I wanna get this hooked up, get the little hose um, going. So that'll be part of uh, one of the projects we're gonna do today. Hopefully it'll work. If not, I got a spare MRAP um, air fuel or water fuel separator for anybody that needs it. So I guess with that being said, uh, I think I'll start with this. So let's get started on that.
I put a, a brand new filter on there. The uh, filter that came with the MRAP doesn't fit. I'll show you why. So, look at this filter and it has this gasket on the inside like that and then here's the housing. And so the original filter that goes on the LMTV that has the priming pump has a much larger gasket. So the threads work, it's just the gasket doesn't seat. There's nothing to seat it on. The reason I wanted to get rid of this is because this one is trashed. The threads are screwed up on the, the drain valve. Um, and it was time to change this one out anyway. So it's a good thing. I cut the, the heater plug off of there because the heater plug on the MRAP is different. Mine has a spot to, to plug it in. It's been uh, blocked off here because they're notorious for setting the vehicles on fire. But this has an updated, it says 28 volt, 200 watt. So there's a 200 watt fuel preheater on this. It's only 25 bucks. I was gonna buy just the bottom part. I tried to buy just the bottom part, but it's like 50 bucks just for that little bowl there. So um, this is a good deal, good savings. Uh, it does thread on to the uh, LMTV filter. So that's a good thing. So I was able to repurpose those parts for the LMTV. I got the couplings on. They look a lot better. On Now I have the other ones that I'll just hang on to for spares with the uh, uh, T-bolt clamps. But aside from that, uh, I was waiting on some other parts that I hope would be here today, but they're not here yet. So that's gonna be it for this episode. If you guys uh, like this episode, me a thumbs up subscribe and as always I'll catch you guys next time see you later bye bye